Millions of beautiful multicoloured blooms are stacked in tubs in a warehouse in southern Turkey. They should have been delivered by now to customers in around 40 countries across Europe, but that's unlikely to happen. We'd planned for the shipment of approximately 35 million flowers from Turkey to Europe for Valentine's Day. We already delivered 20 million, but five more are still waiting at the border, ready to go. The rest are in warehouses. They're flooded with flowers. That's because a row between Turkey and Bulgaria over transit permits that started nearly two weeks ago has resulted in both countries closing their gates to each other's trucks. Talks to resolve the issue are scheduled to take place in Ankara on February 21st. But by that time, the producers, who were depending on the money they make from Valentine's Day, will be ruined. Flowers rot very easily, so we need to move quickly. In a matter of days, they're spoiled. Because we weren't able to make our connections in time, we're facing a 90% loss. Now we're either trying to sell them in the domestic market or throwing them out. This dispute may well have a knock-on effect in the rest of Europe too. Less flowers could well mean that people will have to pay a higher price if they want to say it with flowers on Valentine's Day. Wendy Urquhart, BBC News.